All right, CDL pre-trip inspection for Class A tractor trailer. Number one thing I checked, my DVIR. Nothing written up from the previous driver that's gonna shut the truck down. Next thing I'm gonna check is my overall appearance. There's no damage to the truck or trailer that I can see. It's not leaning to the left or right, which would indicate a low tire, damaged suspension, or an uneven load. Clearance lights up top, are clean, clear, and unbroken, amber in color. My headlights are clean, clear, and unbroken, white in color, function as high and low beam. My corner indicator lights are clean, clear, and unbroken, amber in color, function as a turn signal, a four-way flasher, and a running light. I don't see any fluid leaks underneath my truck. Grill is secure, not damaged or broken. Bumper secure. License plate secure. Hut sticker is present and up to date. Fender mirror secure. These fender mirrors are secure. Always start on the passenger side. Start high. Wiper arm has proper spring tension. Blade itself is not ripped, torn, or damaged. My air box is secure and not damaged. The filter gauge is present, and if the red and yellow were touching, the filter would need to be replaced. Upper and lower hoses, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, not damaged, not leaking. Radiator itself is secure, not damaged or leaking. Fan is secure, no crack, damaged, or missing or broken fins. My alternator is secure, all the wiring to and from, no cracked insulation, no exposed wire, no corrosion. Alternator itself is not cracked or damaged. It's belt driven. The belt has no more than three quarters of an inch of play in between pulleys. My washer fluid reservoir is secure. It's not damaged or leaking. The cap is secure and it has fluid in it. My frame has no bends, cracks, or illegal welds, no aftermarket holes. My shock is securely mounted top and bottom with the proper hardware. It's not bent, damaged, or leaking. My leaf spring shackle is secure. It's not cracked or damaged, no illegal welds. All my leaf springs are secure. Nothing broken, damaged, shifted, or missing. They're secure with the two U-bolts, four flat washers, four lock nuts. Up to the brake system. My brake hose has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's not damaged or leaking. ABS wire. No cracked insulation, no exposed wire, no corrosion. My brake canister, securely mounted with the proper hardware. It's not dented, damaged, or leaking. It has a proper spring clamp on it. My push rod and clevis are securely attached to the slack adjuster with the proper pins and cotter pins. Slack adjuster is secure. It has no more than one inch free play by hand with the brakes released. Into my brake drum. There's no cracks, no damage, no grease, oil, or debris, and it's not illegally welded. My brake shoes have a minimum of a quarter inch of material on them. Inner and outer sidewalls, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Tread is wore evenly, minimum of 430 seconds, and it cannot be a recap. My rim, there's no bends, cracks, or illegal welds. My lug nuts are all present and secure. No sign of shiny threads or rust trails, which would indicate a loose lug. My hub is secure, no broken, damaged, or missing bolt. Filled to the proper operating level, and it's not leaking. My valve stem is centered with a steel cap. Tires at the proper inflation, checked at the yard with a gauge. My side light, clean, clear, and unbroken, amber in color, functions as a turn signal, four-way flasher, and a running light. My mirror is secure, my handle and latch are secure. My door hinge is secure. Weather strip is secure, not ripped, torn, or damaged. One, two, three handholds are all secure. Door latches properly. Steps are secure, tank secure with two steel straps with rubber backings. The tank itself is not dented, damaged, or leaking. The cap is secure with a rubber o-ring and it has a steel safety chain. If the sticker is present and up to date. My exhaust is secure, no signs of black soot which would indicate a leak. Right around to the driver's side. thing always start high wiper arm has the proper spring tension blade itself is not ripped torn or damaged my airlines are all secure no abrasions bulges or cuts not damaged not leaking my air compressor and power steering pump are mounted on the back corner of the engine here they're securely mounted with the proper hardware they're not damaged not leaking they're both gear driven all the lines to and from both no abrasions bulges or cuts not damaged not leaking 
primary and secondary fuel filters are both secure, nothing damaged, nothing leaking. All the lines to and from both, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, not damaged, not leaking. My oil dipstick, I pull it out, wipe it off, put it back in, pull it out, make sure it's in the normal operating range. If it was low, this is where I'd fill it. The fill cap is secure. Coolant reservoir, securely mounted, not damaged, not leaking. Both caps are secure. It's filled to the proper operating level. Hoses to and from, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, not damaged, not leaking. My water pump is securely mounted with the proper hardware. It's not damaged, not leaking. It's also belt driven, and the belt is in good condition with no more than three quarters of an inch of play in between pulleys. My receiver dryer, it's not dented, damaged, or leaking. It has a proper spring clamp on it. The hose is to and from, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, not damaged, not leaking. The electrical to and from, no cracked insulation, no exposed wire, no corrosion. Power steering reservoir, securely mounted, not damaged, not leaking, filled to the proper operating level. Both caps are secure, and it's not leaking. Hoses to and from, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, not damaged, not leaking. Steering shaft, securely mounted, it's not bent or damaged, it has serviceable U-joints on the bottom and top, and it has no more than 10 degrees of free play. Steering gearbox, securely mounted to the frame with the proper hardware, it's not damaged, not leaking. Hoses to and from, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, not damaged, not leaking. Pitman arm, securely attached, not cracked or damaged. Drag link, securely mounted, it's not bent, cracked, or damaged. Mounted at both ends with serviceable joints, retained in with castle nuts and cotter pins. Center link, securely mounted, it's not bent, damaged, cracked, no illegal welds. Mounted at both ends with serviceable tie rod ends, retained in with castle nuts and cotter pins. Now my frame, suspension, brakes, wheels, and tires, I would check the exact same way I checked on the other side. Would you like me to check them? As long as you get everything, they're gonna tell you no. Side light, clean, clear, and unbroken, amber in color, functions as a turn signal, four-way flasher, and a running light. Mirror secure, handle and latch are secure. Door hinge is secure. Weather strip is secure, it's not cracked, ripped, or damaged. One, two, Three hand holds are all secure. Door latches properly. This is my battery box. Batteries are all mounted with, securely with the proper hardware. They're not cracked or leaking, filled to the proper operating level, and they all have their caps. The wiring to and from the batteries, no cracked insulation, no exposed wire, no corrosion. My DEF tank is securely mounted, not damaged, not leaking. Caps secure with a rubber o-ring and a plastic tether, and it has fluid in it. Steps and tanks are secured with two steel straps with rubber backing. I check them the exact same way I checked the other side. Would you like me to check them? As long as you get them on the other side, they're going to tell you no. If the sticker is present and up to date. Back of my cab. No bumps, bulges, or holes. Not missing any rivets. Has proper DOT reflectors up top. My airlines are securely attached to the back of the cab. Not damaged, not leaking. The electrical pigtail is secured to the back of the cab and the front of the trailer with proper retaining tabs. They're all properly raised off of the catwalk. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Not damaged and no leaks on my airlines. Electrical pigtail, no cracked insulation, no exposed wire, no corrosion. Airlines are secured to the front of the trailer with the proper glad hands with serviceable rubber grommets and they're not damaged or leaking. The catwalk is secure with no debris. Drive shaft is secure, no, not cracked, no, not damaged, and has no debris wrapped around it. Cross member is secure, it's not cracked or damaged, no illegal welds. Torque bar mounts from the top of the differential over to the frame. It's not bent, cracked, or damaged, and it's securely mounted at both ends. Mud flap is secure, it's proper width for the duels. Clearance lights up top, clean, clear, and unbroken, amber in color. Hazmat placard is secure and in the neutral position. Front and sides of my trailer, no bumps, bulges, or holes. It's not damaged, not missing any rivets. DOT tape covers at least 50% the length of my trailer. Trailer skirting on the bottom and top, secure. It's not cracked or damaged, no illegal welds. It's not missing any rivets or bolts. Skid plate is secure, it's not damaged. There's no daylight between my fifth wheel and my trailer skid plate. The handle is in in the lock position. The jaws are securely locked around the kingpin, which I'll double check from the rear of the tractor when I check the lights. Fifth wheel mount plate is securely mounted to the frame. No broken, damaged, or missing bolts. 
frame of the tractor in the rear, no bends, cracks, or illegal welds, no aftermarket holes. Shock is securely mounted top and bottom. It's not bent, damaged, or leaking. My airbag is securely mounted top and bottom. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Not damaged, not leaking. Control arm hanger. Securely attached to the frame with the proper hardware. It's not cracked, not damaged, no illegal weld. Control arm is securely mounted at the front and back with the proper hardware. Bring two U-bolts, four flat washers, four lock nuts to the axle. Bolts and nuts up here. Into my brake system. My hose. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Not damaged, not leaking on my brake hose. ABS wires, no cracked insulation, no exposed wire, no corrosion. Into the drum, my drum has no cracks, no damage, no illegal welds, no signs of grease, oil, or debris. Brake shoes are a minimum of a quarter inch thick of material. Inner and outer dual, inner and outer sidewalls, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Treads wore evenly on both, minimum of 230 seconds, and these can be a recap. My bud spacing is correct, no debris between the duals. My inner and outer rim. No bends, cracks, or illegal welds. Lug nuts are all present and secure. No signs of shiny threads or rust trails, which would indicate a loose lug. They were properly torqued at the yard with a wrench. The hub is secure. It's not damaged, not leaking, and it's filled to the proper operating level of gear oil. My valve stems are both centered with steel caps. Both tires are at the proper inflation, checked at the yard with a gauge. I would check the other three sets of duels the exact same way. Would you like me to check them? As long as you get everything on the one you pick, I'm just going to tell you no. Mud flap is secure, it's proper width for the duals, has proper amount of DOT reflective tape. Back here, my jaws are securely locked around the kingpin. Come back to my tractor lights. Rear of my tractor lights, the white one, clean, clear, and are broken, white in color, functions as a reverse light. Red ones, clean, clear, and are broken, red in color, function as a turn signal, four-way flasher, running light, and a tail brake light. Turn signal, four-way flasher, brake light, and running light. License plate. Lights, clean, clear, and broken, white in color. Cross members, floor joists of my trailer are all secure. Nothing broken, damaged, or missing. And there's no holes in the floor of my trailer. My landing gear. Cross members are all in good working condition. Nothing's bent, damaged, or broken. No missing hardware. Both legs of my landing gear are fully raised. There's no debris on the feet. And my handle's in the stowed position. Placard is secured in the neutral position. Side lights, clean, clear, and unbroken, amber in color, functions as a turn signal, a four way flasher, and a running light. My brake hoses and in electrical lines here are securely raised at least 18 inches off the ground. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts, not damaged, not leaking on the air lines. No cracked insulation, no exposed wire, no corrosion on the electrical. <laughs> My sliding tandems are all in good working condition. All four pins are out and the handle's in in the lock position. My string, spring shackle is secure. It's not cracked or damaged, no illegal welds. My leaf springs are all secure. Nothing broken, damaged, shifted, or missing. Secure to the axle with two U-bolts, four flat washers, four lock nuts. My trailing arm is secure. It's not bent or damaged. Securely mounted at both ends with the proper hardware. Back into the brake system. My brake hoses, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, not damaged, not leaking. My ABS wires, no cracked insulation, no exposed wire, no corrosion. Canisters are secure, they're not dented, damaged, or leaking. You have the proper spring clamp. Push rod and clevis come out the back. They're securely attached to the slack adjuster with the proper pins and cotter pins. And the slack adjuster itself is secure with no more than one inch of free play by hand with the brakes released. Into the drums. No cracks, no damage, no grease, oil, or debris, no illegal welds. Brake shoes are a minimum of a quarter inch of thick of material. Back out to the duels. Inner and outer duel. Inner and outer sidewalls. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Treads wore evenly on both. Minimum of 230 seconds, and these can be a recap. Bud spacing is correct. There's no debris between my duels. Inner and outer rim. No bends, cracks, or illegal welds. Lug nuts are all secure, no signs of shiny threads or rust trails, which would indicate a loose lug. They were properly torqued at the yard with a wrench. My hub is secure, it's not damaged, no broken or missing bolt, it's not leaking, and it's filled to the proper operating level. Both valve stems are centered with steel caps, both tires are 
check for the proper inflation before we left the yard with the gauge. I would check the other three sets of duels the exact same way. Would you like me to check them? As long as you get everything on the one you pick, it's going to tell you no. Mud flap is secure, proper width for the duels. My ABS light is clean, clear, and unbroken, amber in color, and I'll check its functionality from inside the cab. Corner marker light is clean, clear, and unbroken, red in color. DOT cluster 3 marker lights up top, clean, clear, and unbroken, red in color. The door is secure, no, no holes, no damage, no broken or missing hinges. The handle is secure and in the lock position. Rear of my trailer lights down here, clean, clear, and unbroken, red in color. All four function as tail lights, inners function as brake lights, outers function as turn signals and four-way flashers. My DOT bumper is secure. That's the proper amount of DOT reflective tape from one end to the other. My license plate is secure and up to date. My license plate light is clean, clear, and unbroken, white in color. Would you like to help me check my lights? That would conclude the exterior portion of the CDL Class A pre-trip.